Michelle Obama and her family had a busy day, starting with a courtesy call on one First Lady in Mpumelelo Zuma. Only photographers were allowed to capture the meeting, but we understand they enjoyed tea and scones and later shook hands, bidding each other goodbye. At the Mandela Foundation, her next stop, a handful of people gathered hoping to see her. American heightened security was in play. I want you to see her. What, what is it about her that you like? I like her personality. She's a beautiful woman, and she stands for everything that uh, we women should stand for. I'm Fatima. I also wanted to see her, but disappointed that we didn't get to. She could have at least waved at us. Um, um, I love her sense of fashion. Michelle Obama was taken on a tour of the foundation by former President Nelson Mandela's wife, Grasa Michelle, and she had a private viewing of the Mandela archives, telling of his 27 years as a political prisoner. The Obama family then got what has become a rare visit with the aging statesman. They posed for photographs with 92-year-old Mandela. There was excitement in the house when South Africa's first black president met with America's first black first lady. Ndileka Mandela, Mandela's granddaughter, was there. For, for, for some time it was a bit chaos and mayhem and, and with all of us clamoring, but Michelle, the first lady, is a wonderful person. I mean, the pictures that you see in magazines don't do her justice. She, she's a very warm person, and, and with her and the children, the mom, yeah, they're very... And now what's that? Well, you know, he was happy, a bit reserved, but yeah, he was happy to meet her. Then Michelle Obama and her family made a surprise visit to Zanspreit informal settlement. It has made headlines for violent service delivery protests and the informal settlement lays bare the reality for thousands of young people across the country. Through the tinted windows of the four-wheel drives, the Obama family, from one of the richest nations in the world, must have seen the rows and rows of cramped tin shacks and the children playing in heaps of rubbish. The trip was kept under wraps but the security deployed drew attention. It's, it's a shock because they didn't know about it. It's sad not to know about it, especially if it's coming to our community. We should be told so that you can know. Then there was disappointment. She left just as quickly as she had arrived. The throngs of people hoping to get a glimpse of the family in their squatter camp were kept at bay by a police team. <laughs> Michelle Obama spent time at the Umtum Jenin Community Center and met with community leaders and the students from the African Leadership Academy that helps run a recycling project, a food garden, and also teach at the creche once a week. Local media was snubbed, only the foreign press she traveled with from America was allowed in. But her visit raised hopes for the poverty-stricken settlement with high rates of unemployment, no running water, and sanitation. Yeah, it does symbolize because maybe there would be change in the community because of her being here. Who knows? But then we don't even know what her motive is for her to be here anyway, so we just have to see. Michelle Obama is yet to give a public address, but in video links ahead of her visit, she said her trip will focus on youth development, education and wellness. Today she will speak at the Young Women's Leadership Forum, giving the country's young women leaders words of support and encouragement. Mahlatsi Gallens, SABC News, Johannesburg.